Here we have a bunch of readings for current and voltage and they plot a graph. Very much like what we do in labs for paper 3 or paper 5 or whatever it is. But what is the best description of errors in the reading? There are two kinds, systematic and random. Well, they kind of wrote the answer last, random. And you need to know the difference between both, not just the definition you memorize, but from different, different ways of looking at graphs. So if you look at this graph, let's zoom in a little bit. What is the problem here? It looks pretty nice. I mean, you could draw a best fit line right through. Wow. Okay, here comes a challenging part. I will try to draw a best fit line, but this one note doesn't always give me good lines. Okay, let me assume the line something like that. So, it, it actually worked this time. Very nice. Oh, it's starting to get broken any. Anyway, so I can draw a best fit line, kind of attempt to draw it. And it looks pretty good. There is no scatter or very few scatter about the point. I mean, the points around that. So if you like this and this and this, ah, that is large scatter, but we don't have that. All the points are seated nicely on the line. Very good best fit line. But notice something else. If you see here, there is a y-intercept. Usually, is there supposed to be a y-intercept? I don't know. Well, in most experiments, uh, there is no y-intercept. So all the values are shifted up by a certain value. That's why we have a y-intercept. So all these points are actually shifted up. Thanks to some don't know what error, but you could tell from the y-intercept. So it looks like that is what we call a systematic error. So there is no uh, scatter, and this is often what we call random error. We really don't know why there's a scatter, but it's scattered all over. So there's no random error. So this one, both are wrong now. La. Neither, no. La. So random only, nope. We want, uh, don't have this. We have systematic only. Okay, so systematic only is the best choice. Remember, systematic, usually you see all the values are shifted up by a certain value or something like that. Okay, so that's all for this question. See you in the next one.